But we begin with the developing story tonight on Disney. Shares dropping once again today and down almost 3% over the past week as the battle between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney takes a new turn. Disney executives reportedly calling on lobbyists to keep an eye on any legislation in Florida that could hurt the company. CNBC.com's Brian Schwartz here now with that new reporting. Brian, what's the latest here? Well, this did, this fight between Disney and Ron DeSantis is just heating up, guys. Listen, what we're seeing here is right after that press conference this past week where DeSantis effectively ripped Disney and said he was moving ahead with this latest salvo with the company. Uh, the Disney executives are calling on their legion of lobbyists to start engaging immediately with Florida state legislature uh, representatives or the state in the uh, state house and the state senate and really start pushing them uh, to kind of take a step back here and think about what they're going to be doing next. Uh, and really a lobbying campaign that's starting to build up here is related to Disney and the land surrounding uh, the, the Disney, Disney World in Florida. Uh, and so there's a wide variety of bills that they're taking a look at at, at the state level. But there's some real question marks here as to exactly how much further this battle is going to go as, the, as Disney's lobbyists are stepping up their game uh, as we go forward here. According to the people you're talking to, Brian, what are the odds that Disney actually loses that special status in that district that surrounds Disney World? I mean, I would think that DeSantis and the state of Florida have a lot to lose if Disney, you know, says, you know what? We're going to move. We're out of here. And other businesses might follow suit. Well, I don't think there's any sense right now that Disney has any plans to move out of Florida. And when you look at their, their special status, there is some debate as to whether, you know, where that exactly is going uh, for Disney. You know, there's that new board that DeSantis is trying to push forward to have more authority uh, over Disney right now in the state of Florida. And, and again, those are, that, that new board is really all DeSantis appointees. Many of his allies are on that board who are looking at how to really push back against Disney uh, in, in the next few weeks. And remember, keep in mind, in Florida, the state legislative session ends in May. So there is only so much time left here uh, for DeSantis and his allies in the state of Florida to really, you know, go after Disney with any sort of laws or impactful legislation. The threat to build a prison adjacent to Disney World, was that just political theater? I definitely think it was, uh, but but I do think it speaks to where, how Ron DeSantis looks at this company and the feud between both DeSantis and Disney. I do not think that there's going to be some sort of state prison built next to Disney World. Uh, but but let's be very clear here. It does speak to the power DeSantis has right now in the position he's in to take on Disney as the governor and as this legislative session comes to an end. And keep in mind, Republicans have a supermajority in the Florida state legislature. And that is important because all of those people, for the most part, have followed in lockstep with what Ron DeSantis has wanted over the years. So if you're Disney, you really are going to have to turn the dials here on lobbying that legislature to try to just get some on your side. All right. Brian, thank you so much. Thank you. Brian Schwartz. You can read the entire story on CNBC.com. Let's trade this. Uh, Tim Seymour, you're a Disney shareholder. How do you take this news? You know, I've heard a lot of a lot of noise around Disney for the last couple of years. And, and, and I think, you know, they were also on some level really in the focus during the pandemic because of what was going on with parks and whatnot. And I, and I think this is going to blow over. I, I, you know, I, no one wants to hear my politics on this anyway. So I'm just going to point out that I think uh, this is a political issue. And I think there are plenty of people on both sides of the aisle that have a strong view. But it does sound like that the view is largely in favor of Disney on this one. Again, my politics don't matter. What I care more about is that the story around Disney uh, was going to move this stock is, is really less in the way of streaming losses, uh, an asset mix, maybe something strategic. Are they going to spin off ESPN? You know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Bob Iger um, is the guy to handle the next strategic step for this company. And if you want to, you know, again, get back to the politics here, Bob Chapek was the guy that really might have even started the politics, so or at least was responding to the politics that were brought upon Disney, depending on how you look at this. So um, I'm going to choose not to be investing in Disney based upon the noise around this. I think it's got the best assets, you know, certainly in, in the business. I think the diversified business model, the multiple here is not that attractive. But um, I am a shareholder.